Hey folks, this is Gigi. Cheers to you. This is a champagne with uh, grenadine and some vodka. Let's check it out. It's the first time I've ever had it, but it sounded good. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. That's not too bad. I would make another one of these. I probably will. <laughs> hey folks, how you doing today? Today's Friday. Off to a good start for the weekend, I hope. Getting ready to close out that week. Because I know you're working stuff, there's stuff out there. But you know what? You can get through it. I believe in you because Gigi did it and I know you can too. We're going to go ahead and drop some money, talk about the week. Had a pretty good week. But you know, really, it's all about attitudes. You can have a pretty good week every week. Because they kind of go like this. But at the end of the week, we want to have a pretty good week, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and drop some money. We're going to see how much money we have here. And we'll just chat a little bit, okay? All right, here we go. Step one. Wake up, really gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and see how much uh, Gigi has here. But before I do that, I want to show you something here. I'm hoping, hoping you can see this. Let me put it here. See this twenty dollar bill here? Check it out. Right here. I do it about overhead too. I'm hoping you guys can see it. Hoping I'm in the right. I'm hoping I'm in the right area. So we go. Check it out. See, this is green, and this is like a just black and white. But what I'm finding here's another twenty. Okay, and I think you can see the difference. So I'm trying to figure out if this is a, a counterfeit or not. So it doesn't have the logo here. The 20 is a different color. The paper is just a shade different, but I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, apparently, it's supposed to have some kind of number here on the right-hand corner. This one does not. It has it down here. Uh, it has a series here. The series is on the other side here. So, like, things are backwards here. Like, this is inside. I know they used to have Jackson in the oval kind of nameplate type thing, but, I mean, frame is what I'm trying to say and I don't think he is now and then we go to the back I don't think too much is in the back is really different that I could see so if anybody knows is this a real one or this is a fraud a counterfeit uh, let me know or maybe this is like one of those dollar bills that could give Gigi a whole lot of money <laughs> if anybody knows let me know because like I said I was going through our you know I, I never really used to pay attention to our cash uh, until I started doing this and uh, because now I know to look for the stars to look for the sequential um, numbers you know um, as far as you know how they fall into place so th there are things that I'm becoming more aware of like the eagle that's right here it's not here but I know that came later so this this just this just looks kind of funky to me but anyway let me know if you guys have any input on that uh, because I'm not, I found some place on a, a website. Was looking at, now I'm looking at YouTube. It's, you know, how much is this 20 worth? And is it really a, a 20, right? <laughs> so we'll see um, what we got going on there. Okay, see, I don't have my. Who done? Okay, I'm back. I like my little posty so I can write down how much money I, I've got going on here. All right, so let's go ahead and start counting some money. So, what are we going to chat about today? Well, one of the things I continue to be interested in is trying to find other people on YouTube that are my age, kind of do what I do here. Um, I guess vloggers, you know, are there any vloggers that are over 60? You know, I, that do not talk about fashion, makeup, how to look younger. You know, I think I look pretty good for a 66 year old broad. I'm just saying. You like a good, good time. Don't I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm doing okay. I don't want to try to look younger because I think I earned everything I have here. You know, when I worked in, uh, when I worked uh, in social services, I did that for most of my career, um, probably 15 years. Um, one of the things, you know, I, I'd work with a lot of young females and maybe that's why, you know, being female, maybe that's why I noticed it in other females is that, Sometimes our life is really etched in our face. You know, if we've had a hard life. You can look at somebody and say, oh, man, they've, they've had a hard life. <laughs> and then you can look at somebody that, you know, and they said, they've been looking good. Like, they, they've 
they've had it good, you know. They may have had their bad times, but their their faces are showing that. You know, for so so for sixty six, I've earned this silver and I've earned whatever wrinkles I have because uh, I've had a life and I've enjoyed it. You know, they've been up and down, such as life. But I don't try to brood on it or you know just hang on that, and nor do I always expect the worst. You know, I've I knew somebody for many years, and their philosophy was to expect the worst. And I was like, hmm, what, 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 no, no, because my thing is the way Gigi thinks. If you're gonna expect the worst, you know what? The worst is gonna come, right? Because isn't that almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy? Ooh, big fancy word from Gigi, right? That that's what I'm thinking. Just saying. All right, hold on. Let's start counting. See, I'm just throwing it out there for you guys to think about that. I'm just saying. So let's see here. Here's 40. But uh, let's see. I may be $20 short because I pulled that uh, $20 bill out of there. So let's see. $125. That's still a good number. We're being at this. is. We're getting close. <laughs> we're getting close to May Day. It's been uh, almost two weeks. So anyway. Like I said, when I was looking, so 125, maybe 145, right, folks? Let me write that. Maybe. If, I, if I'm short 20, I know where it, this is funny money here. We'll see about that. Maybe 145. So let's just write that down. Okay. So one of the things I did find, keep up with Gigi because, you know, Gigi moves, moves fast around here. She jumps from here to there. So keep up. That's what Big Dog told me. Can you believe that? First met. You know, the man's 10 years older than me. And uh, I didn't realize, because <laughs> when we met, I was uh, 48. So that means he was 50, right? That's right. So when we first met, sorry, I got to my eyes, I'm chewing it. So when we first met, and uh, I thought he was closer to my age. You know, my first husband was four years older than me. So five years, you know, not a big number. I, I didn't have an issue with that. So uh, I thought really he was closer to my age. So when he said he was 50, 58, because he was telling me about his family, and he's the second, he's the oldest boy, the second in the line of the, the nine kids. So I'm thinking, wait a minute. I, I, I asked, because I'm, I'm thinking, his mom waited that many years to have another child? <laughs> so I asked him, I go, oh, how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? And he said, no. uh, 58. I went, hmm? I had to think about that. So <laughs> at the time I was working in uh, Fresno and my my buddy Tiffany, because when I first started, the, okay, so now we're going to see where we're going <laughs> to attach it. So when I started dating, you know, I met my first husband. He was my next door neighbor, a good guy, but I was 13 years old. What the hell do you know when you're 13 years old? Not much. And my thinking, and now that I've gotten older, is when you meet, you know, a partner that early in your life or age, whatever you want to call it, and you form a relationship, the pattern or the foundation for that relationship is set at 13. <laughs> He was my next door neighbor. I used to hang out with his, uh, with his sister. In fact, I used to ride my uh, huffy bike to school with his, with his younger brother. <laughs> I thought I was actually going to date his younger brother, but uh, no. Uh, my ex was the one that was more interested, and uh, he was four years older than me. You know, so um, you know when he said ten, that kind of stuck. So then when I went back to the office, because. Uh, when I started, okay, that's what I was, so because I was so young when I, you know, started dating, you know, he went into the service, makeup, breakup, you know, all the stupid teenage stuff that you do when you're dating, you know, trying to figure things out. Oh, no, I want to break up. Oh, no, I want to make up. Yeah, whatever. So we eventually did get married, but I did date, but not really, you know, maybe a couple guys, not, not really serious dating. Um, so now, Gigi. You know, 48 years old, divorce. Uh, what's out there? I was more curious than anything else because I really didn't know what I wanted or what I was looking for. I just knew that when I saw it, I know. I'm thinking you ladies know what I'm talking about, right? When you see it, mm -mm, you know. <laughs> One piece of advice that I told my daughter. 
Yeah. Yeah. Guys 18 and 50 years of age, they're not that much different. <laughs> GG quote, okay? <laughs> There's not much difference. Anyway, uh, so uh, I was dating a lot of young guys and I was just curious. You know, I wasn't, you know, my son at the, that age, I think was like 21, 22, and I wasn't dating anybody as young as my son. So when I went back to the office, you know, and I tell Tiffany, because we would, she was newly divorced. We were going through divorces at the same time. So we were dating at the same time. So we would tell each other, you know, where we went. Because, you know, our kids didn't always need to know our business. But uh, we would share, you know, inform logistics. <laughs> you know? So uh, when I came back, because uh, she would always say, when are you going to start dating guys your own age? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I don't know, whatever. So when I came back and told her that, you know, I'd gone out with Big Dog. And I told her, I go, oh, you want to know how old he is? And she goes, how old is he? I go, uh, he's 58. And she tells me, I don't mean that old. <laughs> Best decision I ever made was winking at that man. Smart man, because he decided to wink back. <laughs> That's <laughs> right, baby. Since. But uh, how the heck did I get on that tangent? Because uh, I can't, I don't even know. I know I was talking about looking for other people my age that are vlogging or on the YouTube channel. That's right. That aside from hair, oh yeah, I work on my hair a lot, right? Even when I was younger, I did work on my hair. My sister did. My hair, my sister really liked to work on her hair. She's got her lovely hair. No, I wanted sleep. I was a snooze alarm queen. Snooze, snooze, snooze. I wanted sleep. You know, makeup, nah, I probably didn't start wake up, um, wake up, <laughs> yeah, waking up too. I probably didn't start uh, wearing makeup until I'm well into my 30s. Very minimal makeup, even then, even now. And then um, fashion, you know, I just like, whatever felt comfortable is what I was good with. <laughs> but that's all I found. I found a lot of them. Except when I found a couple of channels about women that are living, living, uh, living uh, the nomad life. It's like, wow, that's, that's interesting. Hmm? Okay, let's go ahead and put some money in my challenge here. Let's go ahead and put 10. One, let's get rid of these ones. Okay, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And uh, I mean, they're older than me. Uh, I, mean, I even wrote the channels Butterfly Tracks, uh, Gloria, uh, Glorious Life on Wheels. Uh, she was actually interviewing a 79 year old who outfitted her conversion van to do traveling in and she travels around the world and, and the gal around the country the gal's like 79 years old the van fits her knee I'll put their links in the in my uh, description below and Lulu's Lulu sway it was just like you go girl you know what I'm saying all those single ladies out there just having a having a blast good for them you know, um, because I don't think, I mean, I'm coming to find out as I get older that you need a community. This I believe in. But it doesn't have to be a man, you know. Um, it can be people that you find that support you in whatever you decide to do. That's your community. That's your tribe. The people that are behind you, the people that are encouraging you, that people, when you say that I'm gonna get ready and take off to, uh, I don't know, Idaho, Idaho, Florida, Utah, wherever you're gonna go. And they say, you go girl, you can do it. And say, see ya. And they come back and they tell the story. That's your tribe, they're supporting you. You know, okay, we're gonna put a little bit of money in here. Because uh, Gigi ain't got a little m money right now, but we're still dropping money into our, our bag here. So I found that quite interesting that there are a number of females that are living that life. Now, when I mentioned that to uh, Big Dog, he said, uh, so why are you telling me? Is that what you want to do? No, I just found it interesting. <laughs> me and him have fun together, so I would not change the life I have. But... Um, I do find it interesting that these females are getting out there and just living large, man, just doing whatever they want to do. They're not living the conventional life. There's four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, round of applause for them, you know? Because not everybody can do that. People sometimes, I think, they feel that they're they're in a... Because I used to feel like that, that way. You're, you're in a box, and that's what the way people see you, so that's the way you're supposed to be. No, you ain't. That's not the way you gotta be. You can be whoever you wanna be. That's my mom says. Be who you wanna be. That's right. So, uh, 
I really thought that was kind of cool, but I still didn't find a lot of people doing what I'm doing here, which I I, I don't I don't understand why because, you know, they say like uh, find your niche. Well, I even think that let's go ahead because we are going to Alaska. Let's put fifteen dollars in here. I'm gonna try to get rid of these ones. I'm gonna have to do some condensing. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, do I have a ten? Yeah, I have a ten. Um, do 15 in here because we're getting there Alaska I'm looking forward to that but you know when they say find your niche you know when I started this channel I'm thinking my niche was uh, budgeting teaching on a budget I am on a budget that but you know what budgeting just isn't about money budgeting is really being wise with your not only money but with your time right you know, uh, don't waste your time because there comes a point in your life that you realize time, time, <laughs> time goes by too fast and time waits for no one. You know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't. You got, you got to keep going. You know, especially since retired, time just flies. Look, it's already going to be, uh, what, we're already in August. My, my big girl's going to be starting school in, uh, there's Nana's class because I'm doing <laughs> a clip for my, uh, Charlie. Uh, she'll be going to school next week. You know, just in blink of an eye, my baby girl is going to be f five years old. My Morgan, you know, she's going to be five months. Five months since she was born. She'll be five months in the 26th. You know, it just flies. Time waits for nobody. You know, so you got to you gotta figure out what you want to do with your time. And do it. Don't be wasting your time. You know, don't, don't one, two, three, four, five. Trust your gut. Your gut will always tell you whether or not it's right for you. It may, be not, may, may not be easy. It may not be the choice or decision you want. But your gut's always telling you. I'm a firm believer because I, myself, from my own personal experience, if my gut's telling me, you know, you got to do that or you shouldn't do that, and I then start having a battle within my head, well, you know, no, don't do it. <laughs> I've learned too many times, and it, it never fails. When I do not trust my gut and I go the other direction, it comes back. And it's like I tell them, why did you do that? You already, you already knew what the right decision for you was. It may not necessarily be for the right person. It may not be for the circumstances you haven't had. But it's not about any of that. It's about what's right for you. Because if you make the, a good decision for you, that energy just flows into positivity, which will affect you know other people and your environment. And really, all we are is energy. And you're going to have a good vibe about it. But once you second guess yourself, forget it. Road trip. Going to Florida. Remember, so we're putting money away for this. And I will fix it because I know I'm still short. Not quite short. Why? Why I'm short fifty dollars? But anyway, that's a whole other story. <laughs> so, but anyway, if there's any vloggers out there or channels that are out there that are over sixty, kind of doing what Gigi's doing, but aren't really in a niche. No, a niche, a niche. That's another thing. Coming from a funeral home, a niche. The way they spell it, niche. We used to call it a niche, which is where they place somebody, you know, an urn and, you know. <laughs> When they're gone. And then when I see niche, I'm thinking it's almost spelled the same way. So I, sorry if I'm pronounced a niche, but I know you guys call it niche or YouTubers call it niche, whatever. Anyway, I'm thinking, why do we have to be in a niche? I mean, our life isn't in a niche. I mean, there's a lot of things I'm interested in. I'm interested in having a good drink. I'm interested in self care. I'm interested in good food. I'm interested in traveling. I'm interested in saving money. I'm interested in being better. I'm interested in having fun with my kids and my grandkids. I mean, your life isn't in a box. So why does YouTube try to make us in a box? Just saying. I think we have to kind of push, push it. Just, and you know, and us Gen Joners, that's what I'm gonna call us, Gen Joners. It's okay for us to push. We gotta push back. No, you don't get to put us in this little box. Because really, we're all different aspects. Our personalities, the way we think, what we do. There's, we're all different, like a kaleidoscope of different things. Really, you know, that's a good, that's a good one, Gigi. Got to remember that. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Thirty, one, 
because I put need to put 35 in here. We're already at 630. Now remember, I took 180 out, so this one's balancing. But really, I saved 630 dollars for this already. Yeah, who? 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, like I said, if there's any bloggers out there, YouTube channels that anybody knows about that are going beyond their niche, no, niche, and are doing different things in their channels and talking about it, I'd be interested in hearing about it because you don't have to be in a niche. That's what YouTube says you have to be. But what does YouTube know? We know. At the end of the day, we're running YouTube. Yeah, they may be up there in their fancy, fancy castle, checking all the numbers and all oh, the analytics here. You got to go there. But my belief is, if you're doing a channel and you got positive energy, that will ooze out onto the screen and people will connect with you. That's what I believe. Because the fact is, what we, and, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine. If, okay, so let me tell you. Thursday... Stop the presses. You ought to sit here. Thursday, because I'm not even talking about what we did in the week. First of all, Saturday was lazy day. One of Big Dog's favorite days. I couldn't believe it. My mom texted me and said, you, you know today's National Lazy Day? There I go. I go run and tell Big Dog. I say, hey. And there's a recording. <laughs> My yeah, bad. I did not get the man a t-shirt. <laughs> so, of course, we had to celebrate uh, Lazy Day by uh, a pool party. You know, he does love a pool party. I'm the one that wanted the pool, but he loves a pool party. <laughs> so then, uh, Thursday, Monday, we're just kind of peeling around the house, taking care of business around the house. But Thursday, I had a friend of mine over and my mom down for brunch. Hence, 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 the champagne in the house because uh, I made mimosas. They are pretty good. But I thought since I had some more champagne, I thought, can I do something else with the champagne? That's where the vodka drink came in. Pretty good. So, a friend of mine that came down is a crafter. Here's some of her, uh, she's a paper crafter. Some of her uh, art right here that she does. And it looks like, um, oh, let me get her card. Hold on. Because when I was, because uh, when I was, <laughs> when I was talking to her about her uh, craft crafting, because she's thinking of um, either doing an Etsy shop, doing a website, going start to start sell her paper crafts at uh, festivals. She, she she wants to do something with it, so she's interested in throwing it out there. She's very 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 talented. Uh, so I, I love to encourage her, um, but her shop that she's uh, working on is Busy Me Crafts. Aren't they cute? She's always made these little uh, cards. I'm going to put her link. Right now you can me email her at Busy. There's the email right there. Busy, B-Z-Z-Y me at yahoo.com. That's where she's at right now. She may be making some changes. Water. She may be making some changes. I don't know. But that's where you can email her if you're interested in anything any uh, anything like this. Because she does it for the holidays. Uh, she, would usually, she usually makes them for us girls for the season. Very, very cute. So I told her that I was going to throw it out there. But she's kind of shy. Here she is leaving. Because she didn't give me permission to put her, put her face on. <laughs> I go, I'm gonna throw you out there. I'm still gonna put you in my video because that will be told. I go, you know, let me put you. I go, you know what? Usually, what I do is I kind of capture what's going on for the week and I share it with my folks out here on, you know, YouTube land. Uh, and, you know, I told her, I go, you know, my mom's been fine with it. And I look at my, but then again, I didn't ask. <laughs> my mom got it. But uh, my mom hasn't had a problem, so I guess it's okay. But, uh, I told her, I go, I'm going to catch you leaving. There she is. <laughs> Very talented uh, lady. Um, I encourage you if you're interested. And um, like, this is just a, a, a tiny sample of what she does. In fact, I order these because I'll be sending them out um, to, uh, I'm not going to say who because they may be watching. But anyway, I'm going to be sending them out to some special folks of mine. And uh, I told her, if you're going to do that, I'll, I'll throw, I'm going to throw you out there. Be ready. So here's uh, my shout out to Monique at, I want to say it right again, because I kept calling it, kept calling it Busy Mo. No, it's, it's Busy Me Crafts. B-Z-Z-Y-M-E Crafts. 
and our, her email again right now is bzzyme at yahoo.com so there's a shout out for uh, Monique I, I want to encourage her so you guys are interested like I said this is just a tiny little sample of what she does but anyway uh, she came down and we had brunch and it was just I did an egg bake you know I take pictures of anything you know I'm, I'm quite surprised about that just a picture of her leaving <laughs> you know? but uh, big dog he had to do some errands so he was out of the house uh, usually he's the bartender if I have the girls over uh, but no, it was just me, but it was pretty easy because made mimosas. Oh, she wanted a Bloody Mary, so I made her a Bloody... No, Big Dog made her a Bloody Mary before uh, um, he took off, So, which she liked. And I like my mimosas, so that was good. <laughs> good conversation, uh, good food, um, nice... Uh, you know, I, I just want to encourage her to continue with the, the her creativity as far as her paper crafts. And we talked about that, what she wants to do. So really, you know, just time to catch up. You know, I was glad that my mom was able to join us. It was a really, really good time. But next time I will get her on camera. <laughs> so anyway, that's what we did Thursday. And oh, it's, and the, over the weekend we saw um, the Olympics and checked out. There I am, there I am chilling watching the Olympics. The women and the men basketball. You know, brutal games. They were, okay, let's see how much money I have in here. Uh, what was I sort of going to do? Let me do this first. Let's do 15 in here. Um, they were brutal because, uh, let me see, do I have a one? Let me get a one out of here. Because I'm not quite sure. Uh, no, I don't have a one. It's like, why did they wait? Why were they waiting so long? Let me see if I can break up a $2 bill. Um, to do something, both of them, and uh, I, hey, look, they won. At the end of the day, they won. Oh, I gotta get some ones, but it's like, uh, man, they just waited so long. Good games. I really enjoyed watching the games. So that was so we just relaxing, you know, over the weekend checking those games out. So that was cool. But um, uh, yeah, but Thursday we had a really nice time. That was nice. So. And today's Friday, and I'm here with you folks, having a drink, talking about life, talking about things, you know, who's out there, who's not out there, who's in, who's out, you know, all that good stuff, and saving money, right? There you go. But one of the things that I was listening to, let's see, how much how much money, because uh, Jet's going to need some stuff here. What was I going to put? Let's see. Oh, put my 15 first. I'm going to try to get back on track with this. 5, 10... Here we go. Here's 15. Because um, as I'm getting getting more and more into this, I really want to try to develop um, a channel that provokes thoughts. Oh, hold on. All right. Provokes thought, emotion, um, like you don't have to if you're in your 60s and your 70s or you know whatever age you're at you don't have to be locked into what anybody tells you don't be afraid to step out you know even your family will, will question and say what are you doing why are you doing that because i want to you know i remember this one time uh me and my uh me and um, big dog and my son were out uh, in fact we were out visiting my my boy and I was just, we were leaving um, this facility. Oh, I know. He had taken us out to see the facility where they had crashed. Because he's in um, Pennsylvania where they had crashed during the 9-11. Very sobering and somber uh, facility. Oh, man. But anyway, aside from that, uh, that experience, as we were leaving, you know, Big Dog kind of lets me take my time because I'm over there with my camera, taking pictures and stuff. And so him and my boy were up, front, were up in front of me talking. As I'm take, I think it was actually taking pictures of being bee and a flower. Anyway, there was a, a family sitting out, you know, in the parking lot. They were just sitting out there trying to cool down a little bit. So I got to chatting with them. Turns out they were from New Mexico. So I was sitting there chatting, and then my son, Mom! You know, and I go, What? What are you calling me? <laughs> so, uh, you know, I go ahead and go back. Okay, let's see here. I have seven. Uh, I don't have another seven. 
So let's do six. I do have a six. So then uh, when I went back to the car, he goes, what are you doing, Mom? And I go, uh, I was just talking to those people. They were from New Mexico. And he says, you never used to do that. So, you know, I made a joke out of it. I said, hey, I blame Bruce. And my son just kind of looks at Bruce. Because Bruce, big dog talks to everybody, you know. But anyway, it struck me that for me to do that, you know, him having, you know, really grown up with me and living with me for the amount of time that he did, for me to do that was so out of character for him. He had a question, and I'm thinking, really? Was that, was I really like that? You know, and I'm thinking, yeah, I was. <laughs> I was very shut down. Where uh, I feel now, like look at me, Matt. Gigi's on a budget. Gigi's, Gigi's here talking to you. Gigi's having the time of her life, having a good time, you know. And the thing is, don't let other people tell you how you're supposed to be. Don't let other people limit you of what you can do because you can really do anything you want. I'm just saying. Anyway, I think that's it for this here. Oh, I got an extra dollar. I think I am going to put this in my monthly minis when I do that. So that's there. But anyway, that's kind of what I was, like I said, I've been trying to find uh, something, another channel that's similar to what I think I'm trying to do here. If you folks know of any, let me know because I'd be curious because I, they're out there. I know they are. Um, I just kind of got to find them. I know they're out there because you folks are here and I appreciate that. You know, my numbers are the past couple of weeks. I don't know. My numbers have been good. I, I really appreciate, you know, all the support. My views are going up. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a monthly uh, analytics. So uh, maybe because this has been a good month. <laughs> but really, for the new subbies I've been getting, thank you so much. My numbers are going up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So and they said all that. Chatted for quite some time here. Look, it's already been half an hour. So let's go. Because now it is Jesus Christ. So here it goes. And it kind of goes in, in line to kind of what we've been talking about. So here's a quote. We may not always have the choice we would like, but we always have a choice. By Singh Pike. Think about that. We may not always have the choice we, we would like, but we do always have a choice. You know, having worked with, um, like I said, social social services for many years, you know, I would hear my family say, oh, well, I don't have a choice. No, 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 no. You do have a choice. It's just sometimes it's really hard. It's really hard to sometimes make the right choice. It's really hard sometimes to make the right decision. Because who said it's supposed to be fair? Who said it's supposed to be easy? The payoffs can be great. But it's not always easy. I mean, it's not always hard. You must like, get it together. Let me see. It's not always easy, is what I'm trying to say. I guess I need another drink, right? All right, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, look, I know. It's not always easy uh, making the right decision. Sometimes that's the hardest decision you need to make. But the thing in the long run, what the benefits that you get from it you just don't see it at that time but they're there they're there so um let me read the quote to you again we may not always have the choice we would like but we always have a choice remember that no matter what the position no matter that you're in no matter what decision you're making it can even be small decisions like sometimes i know it's hard just getting out of bed but making the decision, getting out of the bed, that's a, that's a choice. That's a good choice. Do I really want to take a shower? You make get in that shower? That's a good choice. That is a good choice. Because, you know, your your actions, your actions are positive. You know what I'm saying? And that, little by little, it's, it starts to trickle in to uplift you. So do not think you never have a choice. It's just sometimes we don't like the choices we have because such is life. You know, but when we stop making choices, where are you at? You're stuck. You're nowhere, man. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, remember that. Keep that for the weekend. I hope you guys have a good week. You working stiffs out there, remember, hang tough, tits up. Today is Fearless Friday. So you go out there and you do what you got to do. Gigi's got your back, always encouraging you. And until next week, salute. Ciao.
Everybody See you, folks. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.